Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you how to clean your laminate wood floors, especially if they have a shiny finish. So we have lived in our house for a little over a year and I kid you not, I spent the entire first year despising these beautiful floors because I was positive that they couldn't be cleaned and they couldn't be kept clean. So they looked filthy all the time. I thought they looked awful. It kind of defeated the purpose of having these beautiful floors. So. I set out on a mission to find a way to get them clean and to hopefully keep them clean. And it ended up being so much easier than I could have imagined. And so I wanted to make sure to share. So the story is after about a year of living here and right after my son was born, we actually had a housekeeping service come in and do a deep clean. I had a C-section and couldn't clean for about a month and the house was just filthy and I just, I just wanted it clean so we could have a fresh start. And they said the same thing. They said, what you're using for your floors isn't working. It's leaving a film. It's not getting them clean. And I asked if they had any suggestions and they said they weren't sure. So I started a mission. Um, I went and did a Google search and a Pinterest search to find a solution to clean the laminate floors. I kind of had an idea of something I thought was going to work. And that's basically what I came up with. So after doing a Google search, I found the correct solution to use for these floors. And it's incredible because once I used it once, I am never turning back because not only did it get my floors clean, it was super easy and cheap and affordable. Um, it kept them clean. So what I was using before was indeed creating a film on my floors, which meant that the same day that I would spend, you know, all the time mopping them, they would be filthy again by the end of the day. You could see every footprint, um, every piece of dirt, and they just looked grimy. So now not only does this solution easily clean my floors, but it keeps them clean and it prevents that from happening. They stay clean for much, much longer. So it's incredible. I knew it was something I had to share and it is so easy to do. So um, this is not rocket science by any means, but you know, for anyone like me who may have floors that they just feel like they cannot keep clean even though they are beautiful, this is for you. So today I'm gonna to be using some products that I eventually did purchase. But the first few times that I did this, I did it with stuff I already have in my home. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you that hack at the end because um, I bet most people have those things in their home to be able to try it out the first times and see if it works for your particular floor. So today and from now on, I'm going to be using this Rubbermaid Reveal Mop. So the reason I bought this was because it's A, a microfiber mop, which is key um, for cleaning laminate floors. And I don't know why I didn't think of that. I use microfiber to clean everything else in my home. And then the second thing um, that I like about it and why I bought this is because it has a refillable container. So you can fill it with whatever solution you want um, and it sprays out um, right in front of the microfiber cloth. So since the solution is the key for these laminate floors, I obviously wanted something where I could create my own solution. And instead of having to use it in a spray bottle, um, this is perfect because it's so easy. It just sprays it for you as you go. So the first step is to make the solution. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Um, please note that if you do not have this mop, the first few times I just put it in a old spray bottle and sprayed it on my floors and um, mopped it up that way and it worked great. So at least you can try it that way. So first I'm gonna show you the solution. So to create the solution, you only need a couple things. You need white distilled vinegar. I keep a big gallon in my house because it can be used for so cleaning so many things around the house and a gallon of vinegar is like a couple dollars. So I suggest you just like keep one in the garage. Um, so you need white distilled vinegar, warm water, dish soap, and I use a couple drops of essential oil, but that is totally optional. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the solution. It is very simple. I am using one part vinegar, four parts warm water. So I'm going to start with half a cup of white vinegar, and then I'm going to do two cups of warm water. To the vinegar solution, I'm going to add a squirt of Dawn's dish soap, and I am also going to add a few drops of lemon essential oil. No, unfortunately, it does not disguise the vinegar scent, but it makes it better. Um, so I'm going to add that in too.
I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was going to show you a hack. If you didn't have that mop and you didn't want to go out and buy it until you figured out um, if it was going to work for you. So I feel like most households have a Swiffer. I've had this for years. Um, and I realized a hack, I may have seen it somewhere that I could at least try and I did it and it worked and it was a great solution for the first few times I did this. I just took one of my microfiber cloths, which I have a ton of these because this is what I use to clean around the house. Um, and if you don't realize the magic of microfiber, I didn't for a really long time, it cleans everything so much better. So get yourself a pack of these. So the hack is when you use a Swiffer, obviously you, you hook the wet pads into these little um, nooks. So you just use this, so you would just do it the same way with the microfiber cloth. So I just take it and wrap it around and tuck it in there. And then for the second part, I try and get it really tight because obviously the cloth's a little bigger than the mop. And there you go. You have yourself a microfiber mop with a Swiffer that you probably already had sitting around. And then yeah, you just take this off and you throw it in the washer and you can use it again next time. You know, it's de it definitely still works great and totally recommend at least trying it out. The only reason I went ahead and bought that mop, which by the way was only $19.99, so super affordable, was because it was taking me more time and it was a little bit of a pain to spray the floor with this spray bottle and then go through with this. So it's just a little extra bit of work to do it this way, but you obviously can totally do it. So that's just like a little hack so you can at least test it out on your floors. I know every floors are different. In our last house, we had real wood floors and they were actually surprisingly much easier to clean. And I just used a wood floor cleaner. But I feel like everybody has like laminate and wood tile and things these days. So um, this is a way to get it really clean and shiny. Plus the cost of vinegar and water and dish soap a, you probably already have those things, and B, if not, you can get them all for a couple bucks and basically make a um, cleaning solution for your floors for like a year. So super affordable, easy, a lot of the things you already have around the house, and it just gets and keeps the shine. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you the floors. They've now dried. The other great thing about using a microfiber cloth and using a solution instead of using um, a bucket of water is your floors dry super fast, so you don't have to spend all this time waiting for them to dry. So my floors, I just did them a few minutes ago. They're already dry. They already look beautiful, shiny. So I'm gonna head and show you. Okay, these are the kitchen floors. Look at that shine. They look beautiful. Okay, going over here, you can see them. They look beautiful. As you can see, these floors are super shiny, which was the big problem. If you've been over to my house and said you liked my floors, I've warned everyone not to get shiny floors because they were so hard to clean. But now I can tell people that I figured it out. And if they want beautiful, shiny floors, they can have them. So this used to be the biggest trouble area. You could literally see every piece of dirt and every footprint, and now it is just completely clean. So that is my quick little tutorial of what to use and how to clean your shiny laminate floors and how to keep them clean. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you try it out, and please leave in the comments below if you tried it at your house and if it worked and what kind of floors you have. Also, please leave in the comments if there's anything else like this that you would like to see a video on, including anything that I do around my home and how I do it. I am so happy to share. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. I hope you enjoy your clean floors.